broken. It broke the same day that I got it. And I bought it from a local Target. Um, the lamp originally was $120, I want to say $20, but it was on sale for $60. So, I was like, ooh, like, I can go ahead and just this lamp because I've been eyeing it for a while but I was like I'm not paying $120 for this lamp like I'm just not and then when I saw it was on sale I was like oh like 60 I can do versus 120 so I was very surprised that it was actually on sale but I went to go pick it up whatever day I was off last week I believe Tuesday and I was asleep in the middle of the night and all I hear is like glass shatter and I'm like what the heck like why what, did somebody bring in the window like what's going on so immediately I jump up and I'm like, what the heck? So then I get closer like to the lamp because I'm like, okay, I don't see no glass on the window. So I get close to the lamp. I'm like, mm, sound like the lamp kind of shattered. So I got close up on it and it was literally the lamp. So I was like, are you serious? So all I'm seeing is like these large pieces of glass just breaking and hitting the floor. And I'm just like, are you serious? Like, come on now. So um, like I said, the, the lamp is worth... I guess $120, um, but I got it on sale for $60. So, you know, I want the lamp to be, I want it to work properly. So I said, I'm going to go back and get the get um, a replacement, but it's only available like 16 miles away from where I am. So, which is in, on the Virginia side. So I have to it's very messy today i really don't want to go anywhere but um it's very messy outside so i'm just gonna go and pick it up they said they have like four of them in stock so i'm like okay well let me just go pick it up since they are the closest um and you know what let me take that back so they aren't the closest to me but the other people they weren't answering the phone so i was like i don't want to drive all the way somewhere and they don't even have the item in stock anyway so like what would be the point of me going so i was like all right well let me call the next place to see that the next place that's closest and they happen to have it in stock so i was like okay cool so let me go ahead and you know buy go go by there and pick it up so i called the dude was very nice i was like you know i bought it for 60 but if i go back online it says 120 so i just want to make sure i'm gonna get my the price that I'm, I purchased it for, I want to make sure that it's going to be the same thing. He was like, oh yeah, just as long as you have your receipt and everything, we'll adjust the price for what you actually paid and da 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 So I was like, okay, cool. So they pulled the one that I'm supposed to buy from the shelf and I all I have to do is just go pick it up. So I'm happy about that. And um, I'm going to have to get a cart to take in to the um, Target with me because it's too much to carry the top, the, the shade, and the um, the lamp itself. So the sh it actually, that was the other reason why I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to get it because it actually came with the lamp shade and it came with the um that lamp itself. So I was like, okay, cool, like this is gonna be perfect. And it, it looks so good in my room, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, I love how it looks up against like, you know, I'll show you guys how I redid my room or whatever. Everything just comes with, like completely together and I just love it. But yeah, so I am on my way there. Like I said, it said it's going to be like a 40 minute drive. And it told me another way that I can go that was going to take me about an hour or two minutes. And I was like, mm -mm, I'm not driving for no hour. So I'm on my way to go do that. And yeah, so I'll show you guys after, you know, the whole process after I get the lamp and put it back up in my room and all that stuff. Will we see the full thing without it actually being broken? Okay, so I'll be back to show you guys when that happens.
now I'm taking it out of the box. So they want you to grab it by this part. So this is the lampshade that came with it. I got some of these little like foam pieces on it. I'll just do this. There we go. All right, so as you guys can see, start with the lamp. And it's funny because I feel like this light is more on the yellow side, but so this is what it's giving. It does give off like a yellow. I might have to get a new box, but for now. And this is what we're gonna work with. Hey you guys. So I am um getting ready to hold on, let me make sure my camera is like Okay. Um so yeah, I'm on my way to an event. Um my boyfriend's having his first gig of the year. I think this is his first gig of the year. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so he has a gig that he has to go to um and we're kind of like in on crunch time because he pretty much had to work today, um, but he tried to get off early so that he could get to where we need to get to. And it is about, sorry you guys, this is like hanging down. But um, it's the event, he needed to be there by five. And like I said, we are like really on crunch time. It's like, I wanna say it's like 4.30. So I'm on my way, rushing to get over there now so that we can get to the event on time. Um, and I really, honestly, I don't need to be there, but I like to go with him to his gigs, um, whenever he, you know, invites me to go because it's just, it'd be a vibe to, you know, go and, and, you know, support my boyfriend and whatever. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. But I have to, once I get over there, I'm going to get to his house before he does. And I'm going to, um, basically try to load up the car as much as I can. I'm not going to lift the heavy stuff because... That's the speakers and all that stuff is like way too heavy for me to be carrying. Um, so on my way to do that, I have had to go to Guitar Center earlier, and I don't know if you guys see on my back seat. I had to get him a uh, laptop stand like thing that goes on his um, DJ equipment because he has a new DJing set, and um, it's pretty it's pretty dope. It's um, so he's using that now um and it's very very expensive so i'm not even going to try to carry that into the car because i ain't trying to break nothing or mess up nothing so um but yeah get ready to go over there and do that and once i um get over to his house i'll kind of like show y'all me setting up you know trying to get stuff into the car or whatever we're gonna see how much we can get in there and yeah so Woo. all right guys as you guys can see my car it's packed down okay like it's stuff everywhere hold on even down to hold on, let's see right stuff in the front seat it's just it's od 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 so i'm not sure what the event is like celebrating like what the got what the people are celebrating but um all i know is i'm having a good time i'm gonna have me some drinks have me some fun um it is very hot today like it's a heat advisory i'm glad that um we are going i'm glad that we are going um like later in the evening versus like being outside like all day long because like i'm sweating already and i don't like to sweat so yeah so it's not it shouldn't be too far i want to say maybe 15 minutes the house or to whoever the, um, the the event is because it's literally supposed to be like right around the corner i probably you know go let him set up and then i'll figure out what i'm gonna do you know um but other than that y'all like i can't even get in the car because my boyfriend in the side of the house is super hot <laughs> and y'all my nail is missing i put on some press ones because y'all I'm to the point now where like I don't even enjoy even enjoy going to the nail salon because 
one, I don't like sitting there waiting for them to do my nails. Two, like, the acrylic is just terrible on our nails. Three, like, the nail salon has been, like, the prices nowadays is just ridiculous. And I feel like it's the same thing with, like, getting your hair done. Like, I get it. It's people's time, you know, whatever, whatever. They got to pay for products and this, that, and the third. But, honey, like, I'm not trying to spend 120 on my toes. And then turn right around and give you another 70, 75 for my nails. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm just not, no. Know what I'm saying? So, it should never cost you like $200 or even close. It shouldn't even cost you. I would say for you, if you want to pay $120, that better be for my feet and my hands. You know what I'm saying? So, to do that every two weeks, it's just like, it, it makes no sense to me. And then, you know, <laughs> I saw this post that said, um, I'm supposed to be on a budget, but I choose vibes every single time. Like, I'm not, I'm not I'm buying into the nail vibe anymore. Um, but I'd rather do press ons. Like, I'll just cut them down really short like this, and not worry about like if they gonna come off because they like on there. I've had these on for over a week now, and they've been a one. This one recently came off. Um, one I was kind of messing with it, and I just. I did something where it just started lifting and water started getting under. So I was like, let me just take the whole thing off. So I just ended up taking it off. But I got a whole nother, like, 15 other pair of nails that I can just, you know, change it, put something else on. So um, that's the vibe that I'm liking. I'm loving the press ones. And some girls do like the long ones. I would do those for like maybe a night. But if I want something that's like everyday use, definitely going for the short. But to splurge on that, like, once or twice a month that's just too much so but that's my little rant Bay's about to get in the car so we're getting ready to head out <laughs> we about to head out can he grab that please uh, Bay, why don't you just put that in the bag i got it are you sure no <laughs> no yeah. good morning you guys good morning good morning um it's monday and I'm on my way to work. Um, yeah, it, it's been super hot these past two days. And I think today is only supposed to get up to like 72 or something like that. Um, it was raining yesterday, like really crazy um, in the evening. But, you know, I personally like, I don't know, I think I told y'all this before, but I personally like going to rain. I get good sleep and I like for to wash the pollen away because your girl does have allergies. Um, and y'all, sorry if like the camera is like kind of shaking a little bit and like it's super loud. The roads are like super terrible, they always working on something. So, but yes, yeah, so I'm on my way to work and y'all, I just did not like I want to hit a bit the bullet, but go ahead and get up because. We are out of school on Friday, and then Monday is a four-day weekend. Monday makes it a four-day weekend. Um, so, but like, I'm at the point where I just don't, like, I don't even want to get up this early anymore. I want to be able to just lay in the bed and work, and not have to use no gas to go anywhere because it's freaking ridiculous, the prices. But, I'm here ready to teach so and honestly speaking of teaching like do i know what i'm doing today i know that i want to introduce a new lesson but i also have to submit grades today so i'm not trying to you know od having them do assignments so i might just go over the lesson and then have them work on any missed um work and they go from there oh no yeah So just I be saying y'all like the weekend do not be fast be long enough it be going by super fast and I just do not uh, I'm glad that this is like the second to last time to have to be submitting some grades I'm over that and the grades is just like I feel like that's the that's the only thing that I do not like to do is grades and I only don't like to do it because 
you know, you try to work with the kids and give them um, ample opportunities to turn in missed work, but they still like will wait to the last minute. And, you know, I can set the rule to be like, oh, I'm not accepting no late work after blah, blah, blah. But it's just like, I be just trying to help, help them out instead of just being like, oh yeah, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. Even though that's the energy that they give off. But, um, yeah, I just, I really just want to, want to be done with this whole school year. I'm over it. We out of school on Friday, but the teachers, of course, have to go to graduation for the kids. The kids are graduating. The seniors are graduating. So, that's something else that I have to do. But, and then it's not until late, like, three-something. I'm just like... It says show place arena. I do not. That's uh, yes. Like I just feel like when we are with us being required to go to work and stuff like that, there should be some type of guest stipend that we get because why do we have to pay for our own gas? Y'all requiring us to come into work, so yeah. I mean, that might sound crazy to some people, but. Me personally, because they how much things cost right now, like y'all need to give us some type of stipend. Month I mean weekly stipend for gas and stuff. But yeah, y'all, so I am back here at work and I will come back and talk to y'all when I get off. So yeah. Hey guys. So I am actually about to leave work um because I'm pretty much done for that I'm gonna show you guys that I have one today I don't know what she's doing hairs up fun you guys this AC unit is on and super loud and I don't know if y'all can see, I got paper towels on the floor because it's been leaking and it's just, it's a mess. So, um, I'm waiting on maintenance to fix that, but I'm about to get out of here. One, because it's super cold in my room, which I'm not complaining really because it's super hot in other classrooms, but it's just too cold for my liking. But, um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and kind of just let y'all know what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to go and leave, grab me something to eat. And then I'll probably go over to my boyfriend's house because he's off today. And um, just chill out for the day. So, yeah. Good morning, you guys. Well, is it morning? I don't even know. Hold on. I think it's afternoon. I got to reset my clock in here. But, um, hey, you guys. So... I'm off today. Today's Monday. Um, as you guys can see, the girl got her hair done again. I don't know. I'm just super in love with this style with like, last time I had the hearts on the side and they were longer on the sides and then I had to straight back. And then sometimes I would roll it up into a butt in the back. But this time I got them um, a little bit shorter on the sides and um, just got some, got them straight back and i got them into a bun so they're not long i got the girl to um sew them together so that they don't fall down so i don't know what i'm gonna do when i take my hair out and ready to like wear my natural hair because <coughs> i think i'm gonna just try to keep letting it grow out i am gonna get my hair rebraided again for my tulum trip which is in less than a month um well let me see today's a six I leave on the 9th of July. So, she's excited because that means that the summer is almost here, you guys. Um, I took off the, the last, well, I took off the rest of the Mondays of this month. Um, just because I feel like for me, I like to have Monday off versus Friday. Because I just feel like Monday is just that day of just like, Sunday night be like, damn, I gotta go back to work. So, I took off this Monday, next Monday, and the Monday after that because at, we have about, so after this week, it's two weeks left 
of school and I'm excited you guys because I'm ready to I'm ready to get up out of here um so but today I'm just chilling today um my boyfriend's birthday is on Sunday so we might go out and do some stuff today he has to figure out what he's wearing for his birthday outfit his um brunch is already paid for for sunday we're doing like a brunch for him and yeah so i'm excited y'all i'm super duper uber excited um so like i said today um i'm just gonna go run a few errands then i'm gonna go back to the house i want to do my seats that i don't know if you guys can see that red bottle that's back there it's supposed to be like a seat cleaner slash conditioner because like y'all i have these beautiful red seats in my car but i don't to be quite honest i don't take care of them like I'm, i should um so that's what i'm gonna do today when i get back to the house i'm gonna let Noah outside and just kind of like moisturize my seats because it's about to start being hot and i don't want them to you know look a mess I want my seats to look nice. I like when they have the shiny look to them. Even though they do got a little luster to them. But, yeah. So, I'm going to do that when I get in. So, yesterday we went to Tyson's Corner. And we were trying to find something for, you know, Bay to wear. For his event on Sunday. But, we couldn't find anything. So, I guess we're going to go back today. But, I kind of want to go get tacos. So, I might try to get try to persuade him so we can go get some tacos okay um but yeah like right now i'm at sam's club trying to get some gas because <coughs> um gas is getting ridiculous comment below where you live and let me know if your gas prices is getting crazy i know everybody's is and they're going to keep continuing to go up throughout the summer and i feel like it's not going to decline until maybe October, November sometime because people are going, it's going to be, be people doing a lot of traveling. So I'm trying to see what their prices is looking like. I pretty much, sorry, I got my fingers on the camera. So yesterday I just got a little bit of gas just so I can get to where I, well, just so I can get to my boyfriend's house because I was almost on E. Dang it. I'm going to break my nail. God dang. Um, I used I got the gas just to get to my boyfriend's house um because we I knew we were taking his truck to go to the mall or whatever and y'all we brought with the doors off yesterday and I had on lashes and makeup and all that stuff and my lashes was like blowing in the fucking wind like <laughs> and even now so just now when that the air just came out like that I was just like what the heck like it's it's doing too much right now I'm just waiting here to get some gas but um I'll come back and talk to you guys when I'm doing something late because I'm just sitting here rambling at this point. I just wanted to let y'all know what I'm doing today. And um, I hope you guys have a great week this week because why not? Like, stuff is too crazy right now. And it just, you know, with everything going on in the world, we need to have great days, okay? So y'all have a great day. And like I said, I'll come back and talk to y'all when I am doing something fun. You guys, so we're at our one of our favorite places. The first place we went on our first date. We are at L'Oreal Plaza. <laughs> Why mine don't have a um? Probably ate it. Babe, did you take it? Where is it? Why his thing have a? a just make a lime disappear. And mine don't. Oh, it's in the cup. Ew, I don't like when they put because the people hands be on it. But wait. It's okay, man. The liquor killed it. It killed all the germs. Why do you think they put alcohol on those wounds? Alcohol on what? Wounds. It kills bacteria. You good. You're right. Not yours look all pretty, mine look all. That looks swirly too. Mine look all frosted. Look, mm -mm. What is all swirly on the side? I'm talking about your lime. My lime looks like, like it's been through the wire. The ringer. I gotta sneeze. It's dripping. 
Okay, hey, y'all, we're out. Um, supposed to go to the mall after this because Bay has a birthday on Sunday, and we have to figure out what we're wearing for his brunch party. So, oh, oh, oh bird, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, these birds be crazy. Look, they all over here. So, yeah. But so we get ready to eat and enjoy our day together. We don't get a lot of time, so. But, yeah, I'll come back and talk to y'all when we, maybe in the mall. Um, making some spaghetti because I had the ingredients for spaghetti already, but I wanted like two weeks ago and I just never made it. Um, and I was thinking about going out to go get food, but I was like, you got food in the house, okay? You got food in the house. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, and I'm also making me some portobello mushrooms. Sometimes, y'all, I love portobello mushrooms so much that sometimes I just make it and um, like just saute them on the stove. I don't know if other people do, but I like to just eat them like that. Nothing on them. And I'm be a okay. So um, I'm waiting for the noodles to finish boiling so I can cook the rest of the ingredients. And y'all, I only like mushroom tomato sauce. Well, I'm not gonna say I only like, but that's what my go-to when I make spaghetti. And then I put the Posca turkey sausage in there. I normally put do ground turkey as well, but I forgot that. So we're just not gonna do that today. But I, no, sometimes I do meatballs, but I'm not really big on the meatballs, so. So yeah. All right, you guys, so I just finished with the spaghetti. And if I must say myself, I did an amazing job. I love my mom's recipe that she does for her spaghetti. Um, I don't know, I just, I just feel like, she feels like she does it regular. She feels like she makes her spaghetti regular, but I think it's just because it's like, like it's my mom. Like she's been making me spaghetti for years. So I love her spaghetti and I'm very, I'm a real um, critic when it comes to uh, people's pastas and spaghettis. Like you gotta know what you're doing. Can't just be out here making stuff. Like you gotta know what you're doing. So, one thing I do want to learn how to make is some good, like, I feel like I can make a decent shrimp alfredo, but I feel like I also need a little bit of, like, help. Or, like, I can perfect it in a sense. So, I'm about to go eat because I'm hungry. Um, I made me some um waffles and i made me some eggs this morning but now it's about eight o'clock it's 8 11 to be exact as y'all can see so i'm about to make me some i mean not making some i'm about to go eat my food and try to watch stranger things i'm trying to catch up to the fourth season um because everybody's like oh my gosh you gotta watch how did you not see stranger things you gotta watch it da, da, da. so i guess that's what i'm about to watch so i'm about to finish wrapping up season two and then i'm going to go straight into you know the other seasons um but i've been enjoying it so far so let me know in the comments if y'all be watching stranger things and if the girl is just late to the party and like i need to get my life so <laughs> so yeah y'all i will be back to talk to you guys when i am finished with my food <laughs> 